So first of all, the music uh, for me or in general is a language. Express more than words, like emotions and feelings, and also a way to organize these feelings and emotions in some kind of form. Music, classical music uh, offers us or offers to musicians because there's so much to actually find out uh, in classical music of last centuries and that can be used even today in every style of music and uh, I'm so glad that I'm into music and so I can share something from my personal life or my even my secret life and at the same time to visit people's worlds and to see the public and their eyes and to feel the atmosphere that something is happening and that I'm actually part of their lives and it's like a connection. I actually like the influence of the, on the people that I can play and at the moment I play I'm just one person and I'm changing the life of all hundred people in, in the hall. Para mí la música, aparte de ser el arte de combinar los sonidos y el tiempo, es también el arte de combinar los sonidos y el alma. Eh, yo pienso que la música puede llenar todos esos espacios vacíos que a veces tenemos en la vida, y eso lo llena la música. Aunque sobre la música se podría estar hablando casi toda una vida. The only instrument I play like professionally is the violin. Uh, I've been educated about s in about 16 years in violin, and it's uh, like the main instrument for me. And uh, it's my profession. One can name that uh, or label this instrument as a sport. It's something I do uh, the best I can, and. Uh, in opposite to that, uh, piano is more like a hobby for me. Uh, I'm total amateur in piano, and I wasn't, uh, I haven't been educated uh, nearly at all uh, during my life. So everything I know on the piano is just improvising and uh, creating stuff. On the violin, I can play just one voice, and it's usually part of uh, the larger structure. Uh, like violin plus piano or violin plus orchestra and it's always one voice and the, uh, the compositions aren't complete when I play just the violin. While playing the piano I can actually create an, uh, something new or something I'm used to in music and uh, I can uh, create the harmonies or uh, find out how to play something uh, I love in symphonies or in um, uh, chamber music and uh, play everything. Because uh, when I improvise, it's sometimes hard to improvise in group of five people when everybody has different ideas. And in piano, I can manage everything. And yeah, I, I found out that piano is kind of a relaxation for me. and. Uh, Um, organizing my thoughts and uh, imagination and uh, I, then I can also use it while playing violin because I have the structure of, of the whole thing and I can also use the violin uh, violin colors or uh, the sweetness of, of the violin tone because the piano it's you play the tone and it's actually dying. It has the beginning and then it's just more and more silent while on the violin the tone actually can grow and uh, when I play the piano I try to make the piano sing as it, if it was a violin and uh, this way these two instruments uh, complete each other and uh, I'm glad that I play both of them although 
uh, I don't play the piano professionally. La percusión es eh, la música más antigua que, que, que existe en la humanidad, aparte de, bueno, de la música del viento y del cantar de los pájaros. La percusión es esa base rítmica de todas las músicas, la que muchas veces lleva el tempo, la velocidad de la música. Eso es la percusión. Y podemos ver que la percusión se encuentra presente tanto en la música clásica, en la música moderna y contemporánea, en el jazz, en la salsa, indiscutiblemente, en la música afrocubana. Pero podemos hablar de la percusión, por ejemplo, los tambores. Los tambores han sido también instrumento de comunicación. También los tambores han, han sido eh, utilizados para enardecer a los soldados en todas esas grandes batallas que se han librado en la, en la humanidad. En lo que respecta, respecta a la percusión, a esa que yo practico actualmente, que es la percusión afrocubana, la percusión latina, puedo decirle que realmente es esa base fuerte que hace que esa música sea internacionalmente reconocida. It's a lot of experiments. Uh, it's the first time in my life I played um, with a drummer, just with a drummer and nothing else. <laughs> it was a really nice experience, uh, very interesting, uh, but uh, it's uh, definitely not the first time I do a music of fusion. Together with classical music, which I was started to be taught at, uh, at the age of six years, uh, I started to play the violin at that age and uh, together with the, this classical music I often visited my grandfather who is an amateur violin player and he also plays guitar and clarinet and uh, lot of, lot of in, lots of in, uh, musical instruments. He's the one who showed me more than classical music, he was the first one who did that and he taught me uh, some of the famous jazz songs, uh, the most famous Uh, musical pieces from the 20th century and he often accompanied me on the guitar so I learned these pieces and I can uh, learn how to improvise to such music. I guess it's um, mostly thanks to him and also maybe a little bit to the piano and learning the structures of the music that I became able to actually improvise to the music of every style. Bueno, yo anteriormente ya hice cosas con con esta fusión de los tambores bata de la percusión con instrumentos armónicos, con, con instrumentos que normalmente se utilizan en la música clásica, como el cello, utilicé el cello de esa gran violonchelista Natalie Menser de, de Montreux y otros oh, músicos, por ejemplo, eh, Wilmer, un cubano que toca gaita y los lo hemos fusionado también con, con la música afrocubana y con la rumba.